Hey guys, I'm out here um, looking for morels and I'm finding them but they're kind of small and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I find big morels early in the season but first let me show you what I'm finding here. Now this is one of my mid-season spots. I know it's a good spot for morels and you can see there's some little bitty gray morels. One there, there's a, another one right about there on the moss patch and then right here is another one starting to get pickable size but still pretty small now what I could do since I'm finding them here I could keep traipsing around this area looking for good sized morels or I could pick the little ones and I'd have some morels but I got a better plan and I'm gonna find out where the morels are growing bigger and I'll show you how to find these kind of spots right. now I've already showed in prior videos how to find a good morel habitat so if, if you want that information just go back to the mushroom playlist on my channel and look through those videos and you'll find it but I want to show you this I got a nice southern exposure I'm right at the edge of the woods now I haven't been out here and I don't know for sure that there are morels fruiting in here. They may be small like the other ones, but I got a good inclination that there's going to be some big juicy yellow morels in here because we have a lot more sun coming in warming up the ground. And that's the trick to finding early season yellow morels. So let's go in and uh, see if we find any. Now there's a nice elm, but it's alive. But right back there's a, a nice dead morale, or dead elm, I mean. So let's go see if there's any morels growing around that tree. Oh, yeah, I already see one. And it's a nice one, too. I wonder if you guys can spot it. Maybe right about there, just past that little shady spot. It's kind of thick in here. Yeah, that's a lot better than the other ones I was finding. I bet there's more around here too. I'm going to set them side by side and give you a size comparison now. I think I know which one I'd rather have. This was that largest one I showed you growing in the other spot. And now I'm less than an eighth of a mile away from this location only difference is I have a good southern exposure and look what I'm finding morels that are actually worth picking now I can come back to this spot in a week and if nobody's got to them I'll have some big morels there too and I'll extend my season and in case you're wondering I just saw another one right here as I was coming back to show you those not as big but still much worth picking and I can guarantee you there's a bunch more right here's another one another nice one now these actually look like they've been up a while if I'd have waited any longer these might have been too far gone that's it I just wanted to show you guys how I find my early yellow morel spots here in southern Michigan um, probably a good week or two earlier than the other morels and the point of this video is to help you guys I, there's another huge one right over there point of this video is to help you guys find the 
good sized morels so that you don't go out and pick all the little bitty grays before they get a chance to get up to a size worth eating. As the morels mature, they take on more flavor and when they're at this stage, I, that's just optimum for me. There's two more right here. I'm spotting them left and right as I'm talking to you guys. Now these are a little smaller, but they're already yellow. So they're probably not gonna get much bigger than that. And they've already spored out. So there you go. How to find early season morels in Southern Michigan. Ah, so those aren't big enough for you, eh? How about this one? Or wait. I gotta be careful because I don't want to step on any. How about this one right here? Better? Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and support.